Who needs to enable Ethercate slave device emulation? Normally, the Ethercate device emulation function should be enabled for those Ethercate slave applications without microcontroller, or microcontroller firmware cannot support Ethercate slave protocol stack. This tutorial video will show you how to enable Ethercate device emulation mode for Ethercate slave applications. AX58100 Ethercate slave controller integrates two embedded fast Ethernet FIs, and also supports additional peripheral interfaces such as PWM, ABZ, Hall Encoder, SPI Master, 32 Digital I.O., etc. for designers to easily implement AX58100 on different Ethercate slave applications without extra microcontroller. This is AX58100 Nun MCU Ethercate Slave Application Diagram. These applications should enable the Ethercate device emulation function in order to handle the Ethercate state machine properly. This is AX58100 and third party MCU without Ethercate protocol stack Ethercate slave application diagram. These kinds of applications should enable the Ethercate device emulation function for normal operation. While disabling Ethercate device emulation mode, the microcontroller firmware must support Ethercate slave protocol stack in order to handle the Ethercate slave state machine events correctly. After enabling Ethercate device emulation mode, Ethercate master can control the Ethercate slave state machine by writing AL control register directly. Designers can modify the config data value in AX58100 ESI file to set double EPRAM ESC configuration field bit 0 to 1 to enable Ethercate device emulation mode, and set PDI control field to configure a proper PDI type. These are sample AX58100 ESI file config data configurations for different AX58100 Ethercate slave applications. The first demonstration will show you how to enable Ethercate device emulation mode for AX58100 Nun MCU Ethercate slave applications. This is a sample ESI file configuration for AX58100 Nun MCU Ethercate slave applications. Designers can check the device emulation mode and PDI type configurations on Twincate tool. You can also run Twincate tool to double check the actual Ethercate state machine status. Please see below demonstration for details.
The second demonstration will show you Ethercate state machine handling error behaviors when the device emulation mode was disabled, on those Ethercate slave applications with microcontroller, but the microcontroller firmware cannot support Ethercate protocol stack. This is a sample ESI file configuration, for AX58 103rd party MCU without Ethercate protocol stack applications, to disable the device emulation function. After disabling Ethercate device emulation mode in this case, the state machine of Ethercate slave device cannot work correctly anymore. Please see below demonstration for details. The last demonstration will show you how to enable Ethercate device emulation mode, for AX58 103rd party MCU without Ethercate protocol stack applications, in order to handle Ethercate state machine events correctly. This is an example of AX58 100 ESI file configuration for this case. Designers can also check the device emulation and PDI type configuration on TwinKate tool. Users can run TwinKate tool to double check the actual Ethercate state machine status, and can modify the microcontroller firmware source, to access AX58100 registers viaduct SPI slave interface if necessary. You can also modify microcontroller firmware source, to access AX58100 mapping memory for Ethercate application data process. Please see below demonstration for details.
A6 Electronics has outstanding engineering teams to provide customers the professional and timely technical services. Please contact A6 Sales for more information. Thanks for watching A6 video.